Alrighty, it's Crazy Fangirl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So finally, I have returned to my YouTube channel. I'm so sorry that I've been away for, I think it's about like three weeks now, and I apologize. There's just been so much going on at the moment. I had a lot of personal issues going on, and I know I say that all the time, but this time, like, Usually I have like a positive mental state all the time, like I always try to keep positive but unfortunately I just really needed to take a break from everything if you saw on Twitter. Uh, I took a break from all social media for like three weeks and I've just been focusing on uni and myself and I've also had a little bit of health problems at the moment. I'm not going to go into it because it's not too serious but I had to like take some time off to kind of look after myself in that department as well but everything's okay don't worry nothing critical it's just it was a bit of a checkup and it was a little bit like eh, what's going on but anyway that's fine and that's out of the way because now we are going to be reacting to the Joker ow, final trailer <laughs> I'm so excited for this as you can see I'm so excited because I love the Joker and you guys saw my reaction to the teaser this like, this whole movie looks amazing, like, and Joaquin Phoenix is just, like, an incredible actor, and he's already proven to us in the teaser that he can play the Joker, and it's just, oh, I'm so excited, and I knew something was going on because, obviously, Warner Brothers was releasing all those, like, tw like, five min- five minute- five second, like, teasers on the, um, Instagram page, so I was like, something's coming, and I'm- well, I'm, I, I mean, this was the best trailer to come back to, and I had to react to this because just obsessed with it. But anyway, let's jump straight into this. I'm so excited. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reaction videos to more movie trailers, TV shows, and video games. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Let's do this. I'm so excited. Yeah, that part. Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. And finally, in a world where everyone thinks they can do my job, check out this guy. When I was a little boy and told people I was going to be a comedian, everyone laughed at me. Well, no one's laughing now. You can say that again, pal. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's um Thomas Wayne. for this. Oh, mm, it looks so good. 
I mean, okay, can we just watch that last part again, please? Just wait. Okay, I'm gonna turn the sound off, but just hold on. Okay, just look at him. He just becomes the Joker. Like, oh, I'm. I literally cannot explain how excited I am for this film. It's going to be so freaking amazing. <laughs> so let's just jump right into this analysis because I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. Just wait, hold on. I'm going to replay it so we can hear it. Oh, just that part alone. Uh, it just... It's like I said in the teaser, Joaquin Phoenix is the Joker we've all needed for a very long time. Um, I think it's because he's like really clicking into those really important um, parts of the character that really haven't been touched upon before. Like obviously we've seen different versions of the Joker, like I said in my like kind of character study in the last teaser. Um, there's so many Jokers, both voice actors and both actors, like obviously in movies and, and obviously the cartoons. Um, but this is very different, like he's like really clicking into different parts of the Joker and it it's just brilliant because obviously we're seeing this really broken down person and like obviously he's lost everything, He he's like a really failed stand-up comedian and obviously I'm going to talk about it a little bit later but due to Murray Franklin, who's played by Robert De Niro and is the host of the TV show that we see throughout this whole trailer, is the reason that he is a bit of a failed stand-up comedian. So, to see like that broken down version of the person instead of just seeing the Joker like from beginning to end is just brilliant. So seeing like what he is, like he's like obviously has very fragile mental health. Um, he has a lot of personal issues going on, like his mum's sick. Um, again, he's trying to deal with his mental well-being, he's trying to obviously live a normal life by going out and obviously dating, and yet we see like all these different events happen and then there's this snap that occurs within him that changes him into the Joker and again, Walking Phoenix is like really representing this beautifully throughout the trailer, like obviously we don't know all the events that are going to happen in the movie, but we do get a sense of what's going to happen and again, Walking Phoenix just taps into those like characteristics so well of the Joker and just as the person of Arthur before he becomes the Joker, so I think that's really really important and I love what we're seeing so far. And again, with this scene, we obviously know that um, Mari Flank Franklin, excuse me, is going to be a big part of the downfall of Arthur and is one of the many motives of Arthur becoming the Joker. Another motive, as we can just, we just saw, is obviously Thomas Wayne and just gonna pause it there for a second. It's been said by Todd Phillips, who's the director, that this isn't the Thomas Wayne that we're used to seeing in the comics because obviously from the comics and in different adaptions of the Batman, we have been told that you know, Thomas Wayne was a really good man, he was helping everyone, he was really supportive of different causes in Gotham. In this adaption, it's going to be different, like, he obviously, and we see it already, especially when he punches Arthur in a little bit, that it isn't the same Arthur that we see, or it's definitely, like, a man who's, um, probably got his motives mixed up at that time because in this adaption he is going for the role of mayor um it's been told again by the director and is the reason for a lot of campaigning and what we see in this trailer as well as well as the teaser we see a little bit of that but not too much and also with this clown movement that's going on within the film like it has in real life at times um it's due to obviously arthur and I was thinking as well, like, when I, because I'm also going to do a podcast on this, keep an eye on it. It's going to come out before the movie comes out, but I think it's going to come out in September, maybe that's when the new podcast comes out. I'm pretty sure I might do it then, or even I might release it a few days before the film. We'll see. <laughs> I'm still working on it because I'm just so excited to do that podcast. Um, but again, I've been writing notes down, and I've been thinking that the reason that the clown movement that's going on within the trailer is because either there's um, the, the rebellion against obviously that wedge between the rich and the poor so obviously people are rising up 
and obviously listening to perhaps what the Joker is saying and like saying like obviously like there needs to be something that should be done or and this obviously kind of connects to the rich and the poor thing but also to do with Thomas Wayne and maybe the different he may be covering as mayor um, may not be covering all important areas especially poverty and this is the reason why the clown rebellion kind of happens so that's exciting to see and that that clown rebellion is just like it's amazing because it just looks like all of the jokers like minions like when you see it in the cartoons or the all the actual comics like it's just giving me like so many like feels i'm just so excited to see this film like this is like one of my most anticipated movies of this year and i'm so excited oh just look at him <sighs> he's just oh and yeah again like i was talking about the laughter like walkin phoenix is just amazing like he's got that physicality of the joker and he's got like the movements of the joker like Yes, some of them is very eccentric, but I don't know, the way he's moving as the Joker, the way he walks, the way he talks, it's just like, whoo, I just get chills, and it's just like, and there's that element of fear with Joker, like, oh, it's just, I can't explain it, it's like, and I'm glad that they've kind of added a little bit of, like, that eerie feeling, like, almost like horror into this, like, whole, like, trailer and teaser like that's what i felt but i'm really like feeling like a little bit of like that eerie vibe that you get when you're watching horror and there's like the the hairs creep up along like your body and stuff oh it's just like incredible and yeah just this whole part just looks straight like ripped from one of the cartoons or like the comics oh yeah just see like that movement like of the body and just even this part Oh, it's amazing! Unbelievable! Oh, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so good. Oh! So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction and analysis video of The Joker. I am so excited and pumped because also October, there's a lot of movies coming out in October, but it's also the month where I just have off from uni. Like, I'm going back to summer school like I did last year, so... I'm pretty sure Outlet that comes out at that time, which means get ready for that. That's going to be a really busy time, but I'm still going to do it. Um, oh, but just October's going to be amazing because I'm going to be able to actually go to the movies, watch The Joker, and do a review on it. I'm so excited. And I know that, like, literally the reviews I've been doing is all Disney, so I apologize. But I promise, hopefully, I will be able to see more movies in the future. At least I got to see a few more than last year. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to do more and more reviews as time passes, so please forgive me if I'm not doing a lot or not covering, like, the movies you guys want to see, but I promise in time I will be able to. It's just uni and scheduling is just really hard at the moment. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Pango out! Woo!